Hey guys, hope you're all well. So, the last say, couple of weeks, this thing's been getting a lot bolder. Um, it's claiming or suggesting that it's Vlad the Impaler. No, I don't for one minute believe that to be true. Um, we've seen over this haunting that it, it lies a lot. You know, it's basically it's full of shit. I think they all are all spirits are. Um, <clears throat> But I do believe that its name is Vlad. There's two things I believe. Its name's Vlad, and that we picked the attachment up in Romania. Um, we've had the name Vlad come through since, like, if you go back through our videos, back to the beginning, I think the first spirit box session when I had the big portal device that got destroyed, um, that said Vlad. And that's an uncommon name in England and I've, I've never heard it on radio unless they're talking about Russia or something like that so I believe that to be true um, I think it uses Vlad the Impaler maybe because we was in Romania um, touring and things um, as a way to intimidate me um, as soon as I start every time yeah, and um, I think my pros haven't been um, as regular as they should be. So tonight's video, I've got the connect over there. Um, I'm going to turn it on in a minute. I'm going to say some pros. I'm going to challenge it. I'm going to tell it I know it's, it's lying to me. Um, my friend... Crackling from America, um, you probably remembered he sent me a um, sent, sent Benedictine crucifix and pendant. Um, where is it? This one. This is um, that's actually been best blessed by a priest. Um, well, he sent something else. I'll just switch camera around to show you. He sent like a real goodie bag. Um, another crucifix I'm pretty sure that that's been blessed as well um, but Cracklin will be able to tell you in the comments I can't say for certain that's been blessed but I believe it has um, these two for hanging above your door so I'm going to put them above the door tomorrow um, and the, these ones, I'm not sure if these are just like key rings or do you hang these around the house as well? Um, if anybody knows, let me know. Um, you too, Cracklin. I'm not too sure about these ones, buddy. But my idea is basically hang them up around the house. Um, that's amazing. I'm so grateful. Again, um, you know, you're a, you're a really good person. Thank you. So I'm going to put all that tonight on the table over there, um, you know, where we see the portal. I'm going to leave my phone running all night on um, loop on YouTube. I'm going to put the Pope Leo exorcism prayer on um, and leave that on a constant loop. I'll have all these religious objects on that table. Um, and we'll see if it, if it can offer any help. I don't, you know... I don't expect it to stop in one night. I think it's a gradual decline. You know, you pray. Um, you know, you have amazing people what send you stuff like this. You've got to put them to use. So we will be doing these. Will be at the. Um, I call it the doorway. I b I believe that's where they come in and out. I don't believe they're here. I think they travel in there and come out there. So. Thank you so much, Crackling. Um, I'm going to get the Kinect set up now proper and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, um, we're in Kinect view now. You probably won't be able to see, but on the table, I've put the um, medals, pendants and crucifixes. Um, my phone's over here. I'm going to leave that playing um, when I go to bed. Just going to have a quick five ten minutes now. Um, I'm basically going to challenge you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to I'm going to call it out for its bullshit now. Um, 
I'm going to call it out. I'm going to share some pros. Leave that playing. I'm assuming that will piss it off here in um, Pope Leo. Exorcism prayer all night. So we're going to start doing things like this now. We're going to start being more um, like aggressive with certain things. Um, yeah, I'll just get to it. If you're here, I've got the device where I can see you. Come and show yourself. Why do you not like showing yourself on this one? Why is it that the only the positive spirits what show themselves on this? Straight away, little dude. Is that you? Is that the person who calls themselves Vlad? Trying to make themselves strong? Is that how you start off? As like a little baby floating in the sky? Show yourself, come to me. Show me how powerful you really are. Because I know that you lie. You lie about everything. You try to tell me that you're Vlad the Impaler because you think that'll scare me. Well, I know you're not him. So you must have been a very sad little man in life that you have to pretend to be someone else. Thought there's someone touch me then. Was your life that rubbish that even in death you had to be, pretend to be someone else? Look on this table. That's a table of God. Them items are of my God. And I've placed them in front of the area I believe you come in. Are you afraid of those items? Why do, you, why do you not show me how powerful you actually are and lift that table up? Why can you not lift that table up? You've done it lots of times before. You've thrown it all over the room. Do it now. Do it now while I'm here and I'm watching you. And while it's filled with symbols of Jesus Christ, Move the table. See, you can't do it because you're a weak little man. Again. Is that you what keeps touching me when I'm not looking? Do it now, I'm looking at camera. You don't like this word, I'm going to say it again. Every time I say it, you usually do something really bad. Vlad, you're a coward. You really are a coward. You're tormenting a family for no reason. Are you being quiet again? Because I know if someone was calling me 
Or if I found someone I didn't like and they was calling me, I wouldn't be hiding. I wouldn't be going tickling the neck. I'd be doing something much worse. And if I was a spirit, did know my real name, I wouldn't be pretending I was someone else. You're nothing, all you can do is move things, push people, but you can only do it when they can't see you. I felt a cold sensation there then coming up there. I'm going to read some prayers in a minute. I'm going to kneel down in front of that portal, in front of the... When I go out to focus and come back in, you change colour. The colours don't actually mean anything, it's just random. Come and show yourself to me. Stand up to me now why I'm here. But you won't. You'll let me finish. You'll let me go to bed. And then you'll come up and you'll move me drawers. You'll try to wake me up. But then when I come down. You're a little bitch again. Hiding. Where are you? I heard a whisper then. Is that you or the good spirits? Little one again. If there's any positive spirits here, please come forward. Can you stand against this evil entity that's here? I believe you help. When you're around, I feel positive energy. Is it too strong for you? Can you show yourself on camera? One more. Thank you. Can you come towards me? Can you come towards me and touch my hand? Actually, it's pretty tall, that one. Please come towards me. I got like a stack it static shot then. Like we, we do on tramp like when I go on trampoline, I'm always getting like electric shocks off it. Was that you what did that to me? Can you come and touch my hand rather than I'm assuming it was you what did that? Yeah, got shot then into nowhere. Whispering again. Right. I'm going to kneel down in front of that thing, yeah? That table where you come from in the wall. And I'm going to read two prayers now. And then you're going to have prayers all night.
Heavenly Father, thank you for your continued presence with us. Thank you for your almighty wings which cast an impenetrable shadow of protection. Thank you for going before us and for covering us from behind. Thank you for choosing to be in our midst, for lifting our burdens and for securing the heavenly place you have prepared for us. Your divine words bring so much hope and comfort to our hearts. Remind us daily of your strength and may we always see glimpses of your inflammable glory and blessing as we seek your face throughout our days. Victory and salvation are found in you alone, Lord. It is in your mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Right guys, that's that's my bit done now. I've done some prayers. Um, I'm very limited on my prayers. Tomorrow I'm going to say the um, prayer of St Michael. That got a major reaction um, when the chair flipped over. I've been practicing that one. There's some. I, I'm not. I don't read good. Uh, if anyone can suggest any prayers, please leave them in comments below. The simpler the better. Um, like I say, I'm not very good at reading. Um, That's really it. Now I'm going to put this on loop on YouTube um, for anybody who wants to know. It's um, screen's black on this. Exorcism, uh, Pope Leo X X and three L's eyes deliverance prayer. It's in Latin. We've played this before, so I'm going to put the loop on. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you. 